Well, good day, YouTube, and welcome to another episode of the Albino Rhino Beer Review. Today, you have the Rhino, and we're looking at a beer from Left Field. It's back behind me. This one right here. That one. Blackburn. Oh, excuse me. So this is original Blackburn Imperial Stout. Decadent, colossal, warning. Sorry, warming. <laughs> or is that warning? No, that's warming. That's warming. So decadent, colossal, warming. 9.7% alcohol by volume. Extra strong beer. Blackburn is our biggest beer yet. It's a colossal stout in honor of the secretive and strange ritual behind every major league baseball. This beer pours black and opaque with a mocha foam giving aromas of baker's chocolate, vanilla, and plum. Blackthorn is viscous and smooth. It's hard to be viscous and smooth in the way that I'm pretty sure uh, the Murphys are getting at here. Saturated with decadent fudge and toffee and laced with evergreen bitterness that gives way to a warming finish. Left Field Brewery, Wagstaff Drive, Toronto, Ontario. Bang. Let's do it. Let's do it, 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 do it. Hey, and in case you're watching today, hi, Charlie. How are you? I'll see you. At some point, I will. Get in that cup. So, I didn't get a lot of foam, so I don't know if uh, if they're serious on that. It is opaque, but is it opaque because it's opaque, or is it opaque just because of the the SRM on this? It's the SRM. It's not. It's it's dark. It's super dark. It's it's okay. It is viscous. I mean, I don't know if the camera's picking it up. But it does leave a brown sludgy line on the on the glass. Uh, scent. We'll do the glass first. I don't pick up the plum they talked about. I do get toffee and fudge. I do get baker's chocolate. But that plum ain't there for me out of the glass. Out of the can? Oh, there's the plum. It's been a very long time since I've had a plum, but out of the can, all I get is plum. Out of the glass, all I get is chocolate. Uh, and the glass is both sweet and bitter chocolate. The can is just plum. So let's try it. Cheers. 9.7% alcohol by volume. Okay. So viscous and smooth. Viscous for sure. It sticks around. The flavor is everywhere in my mouth that it touched. My lips are sticky. Last time my lips were this sticky was... Never mind. Um, my lips are sticky. Mm, okay, no. I was going to say, I don't know if it's in my mustache or not, but it felt like it was. But okay, so, lips sticky, viscous, smooth, it does cover your whole mouth, it's velvety, it is velvety, um, it just, it, it envelops your entire mouth. And I mean, the carbonation's there, but it's that micro carbonation, it's just little tiny bubbles just tingling over your tongue as you drink it. Flavor. I do get fudge. I do get a lot of Baker's chocolate. I do get a lot of burnt charred wood and burnt coffee. I get a little bit of leather. I get a little bit of tobacco smoke. Um, warming. Not as warming as I would expect for a 9.7% alcohol beer, but not bad. Um, 
maybe it's now that I'm up in the Arctic, I don't get the, uh, I don't get that same warming sensation I get as I did on these type of beers in the past. But it, I mean, it has a warmth to it, but it doesn't burn my throat. It doesn't burn my palate. It's like oh, deep in the belly warmth. It's like, oh, I'm here. Oh. And it's, it's, it's intriguing. This is a good beer. Not my favorite Imperial Stout I've ever had, but a solid stout nonetheless. Out of 10 on this, probably an 8.5. This is a good, solid beer. It's 9.7% alcohol, and it doesn't really feel like a 9.7% alcohol beer. This is, as Guy would call it, from Beer Guy Reviews or Drinking in Canada. I'm not 100% sure if he's changed the name of his channel again. But a very, very dangerous beer. And it is. It's one of those beers you could drink a couple of, stand up, fall down, and pee yourself. Sorry, I'm just looking at the insulation job on that pipe. Um, it just caught my attention. I've been in this house almost, almost two years, like a year and a half, and it's the first time it caught. Holy fuck, how loud do they have to be out there? I'm in the soundproof room, do you hear that? Like, blah, 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 let's break all the plates. Anyway, thank you guys for watching, have a wonderful evening. I'm not going to chug this, I'm going to go sip this as I watch shows with my wife. Bye-bye.